Come with me to split this huge Monstera Delicioso into two plants. I start by giving the roots a bath. I spray them with hydrogen peroxide to prevent root rot, gently split them, and then repot them in two containers. Now I have two plants. You do not need a moss pole for your plant. Climbing plants like this Monstera will climb anything. Instead of spending $20 on a moss pole, you can consider a bamboo stake, a piece of wood, or even a PVC pipe. You can still get your leaves to double in size from this to this. Just get something sturdy. Check out Kill This Plant for more. How to impress a non-guitarist. How to impress a beginner guitarist. How to impress an intermediate guitarist. How to impress an advanced guitarist. Stimulating windstorm because my plants have become weak little bitches inside. When cacti are in bloom, it's the perfect time to build an open terrarium. Semi-arid environments like the ones needed for this build require a thick false bottom so that plants never sit in water. I'm adding some landscaping fabric, then adding a layer of lumpwood charcoal as a water purification layer. You'll need to choose a substrate that has ample drainage. That's why I'm using Wonder Soil. This will lay right on top of the lumpwood charcoal. No need to compact it. I'm adding my tallest plants to the back to add depth, then including several pieces of desert jasper. I just felt that it was fitting. Lowest plants will sit close to the opening, and citrine will be my centerpiece crystal. Left overnight, the flowers bloomed. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments below. Friendly House Plants Part 2. The following plants are recognized as being non-toxic to pets. The Pelia. The Boston Fern, the Zebra Haworthia, Hoya Crimson Prince, and Queen, Arika Palm, and the Peacock Plant, which is a type of Calathea. Enjoy! things and leave there's the door there's the door bitch my top easy care pet safe plants part two the gorgeous variegated aluminum plant also known as a watermelon pelia hoya carnosa compacta peacock peperomia the goldfish plant which produces bright orange flowers and the super pretty stromathi trio star follow for part three
People always ask me who's the prettiest, most beautiful goddamn creature on the planet. And you know what I say every fucking time? This bitch. Were you tricked into believing that succulents are the easiest plant ever? So you bought a bunch, realized they're actually kind of tricky, and now they look like this? Here are the two things you need to know to avoid this sad, mushy death. First is to keep your succulent in lots of bright light. Second is to keep your plant dry when you water. I like to bottom water, but if you're going to top water, make sure none of the water is splashing onto the leaves and you're only watering when the top two thirds of the soil is dry. Lastly, cut yourself some slack. These guys can be hard. Most of the prettiest pots you find don't come with drainage and drainage is super important so your plants don't get root rot and they don't get overwatered in general. And I'm going to show you guys how I've solved that problem. What you're going to want to get is diamond drill bits. I got these ones off of Amazon. They came in a pack of 10. You're going to find one that you think is the perfect size for the hole for the pot. All right, so I always start with a little water on the pot to make it easier to drill through. And then you're going to want to start at an angle and then start to drill. end up with a perfect hole in your pot. It is time for our most requested plant of the week. Here's how to take care of your peace lily. Not only are these guys tolerant of low light, but they love it. So keep them away from windows and make sure you give them lots of water. I like to water when the top layer of soil dries out and because they love so much water, it's super important to have good drainage. Always make sure to chop off dead flowers and they're super dramatic. So if you wake up one day and your piece of it looks like this, don't worry, she's probably just thirsty.